Hi, everybody, and welcome to all of you who are interested in self-realization and transformation, and whether you've come to hear this through my newsletter or through the website or YouTube or however you've come. Today, I want to talk about something that has been really um, helpful to a lot of the people that I've worked with. Because once we get on this train of transformation, we start moving in that direction. Initially, we have all these aha moments, we have insights, our life starts feeling so much better, we have a lot of hope. But sooner or later, we hit a wall, and that's inevitable, that we seem to fall back into our old habitual thinking, our insecure thinking, uh, our addictions, our and a lot of people at that point can think, oh, I don't really get this at all. I, I don't really, didn't really know anything after all. And they begin to lose hope or they begin to doubt themselves or doubt the insights that they had that were real, that were really that voice of wisdom and insight speaking from within you. So as that is, becomes more and more familiar to you, you will trust it more. But sometimes life hands us a problem, what looks like a problem is really an opportunity uh, disguised as a problem that helps us realize at a deeper level to get a deeper understanding of how the principles of mind, thought, and consciousness and the process and principles of transformation work so that we can stay encouraged and move forward. So I'm gonna write, read a little bit from my new book. I'm here again at the cabin writing for the week. If you see the background of the lake and everything, this is where I do most of my writing. But I wanted to read uh, from, I think it's the third chapter that I've written in the book. Um, so I'll just read a little bit for you. When it appears that our true identity or our true self is hiding, we are in a moment of recognition that our thinking may be off. Rather than reverting back to old habitual thinking and insecurity, we can open our minds to new thinking, to insight. When life hands us an opportunity disguised as a problem, if we understand the ins and outs of ongoing transformation, we put ourselves on the bus stop of new discovery, constant evolution and transformation, waiting for the insight bus to arrive. And so, as I wrote this, I, it, it occurred to me that um, there's several things that I've learned personally, because I'm on the same train as you guys are. We're all in this together. No one's uh, any better at this than anybody else. I might just be further along in the journey than some of you and some of others may be further along than I am. It doesn't matter. We're all kind of moment to moment experiencing what we're experiencing. But these are some of the insights that I've had that I'd like to share with you. Um, that occur to us as our minds begin to get quieter while sitting on the bench and waiting for this insight to occur. First of all, the problem, the first thing I realized is that the problem that it looks like I'm having isn't really an outside problem, but an opportunity for new and deeper insight. In other words, it's an in, inside problem. It's an insight lacking problem. And if action, so if, if it looks real, and there, there, it doesn't mean that life doesn't give us real problems, but it's knowing that if action is required, when our mind is clear and filled with insight and clarity, having that moment of clarity, we're going to know exactly how to act and respond to that situation in a much wiser, responsive way. So that's the first thing. The second thing I learned is that we accept what we're feeling and perceiving without judging ourselves. We accept our humanity. So often people, when they're first learning, they think, oh, I'm never gonna get this, and you know, they get down on themselves. But it's, you are going to fall off the transformation train. It's just, it, there's a lot of bumps, there's a lot of sharp turns. There's a, life is a contact sport, as Sid Banks used to say. And so it's gonna throw us off, but when we can see it as an opportunity, oh boy, what am I gonna learn this time? And we approach it that way. We don't get to sit down on ourselves, So that was a big one for me because I was so, I don't know about you guys, but I'm Mr. Guilt and shame. You know, I get down on myself most of my life. Self-doubt and shame were my friends. No, not so much. So the third thing is that when we see this, we're willing to have 
just being open to having new thinking about our circumstances and know that it will come to us as needed. It's kind of a leap of faith here. It's having faith that, that will, wisdom will arrive in its own timing to give us the insight we need to deal with whatever looks impossible to us right now. A fourth thing, our judgment begins to drop. We're not as interested in analyzing or trying to figure out why this is happening. I don't know about you, but for me, whenever I'd have a problem, my brain would go on overthink and my mood would spiral down further and further. The heavier my thinking got, the lower my mood. So what we're looking for is a positive feeling. We're looking for a feeling of lightheartedness, of acceptance, of hope, rather than trying to figure it out. And that's just, it's very human to do that. We, you know, we got a problem, we want to figure it out. That's how we're, most of us were trained. Fifth thing is, we see the importance of continually pointing ourselves to the inside out by simply being aware that we're having a thought created experience. So no matter how real it looks, if we can remember that what we're, you can only experience your thinking regardless of the situation. You can't experience anything directly. You experience it through your own perceptions, your own personal filters of thought that interpret the reality you are seeing. So it's an inside job. And the quicker that I remember that, the more readily I remember that, the less suffering I have in my life. The more quickly I rebound, the more quickly I get insight about my situation. And the sixth thing, the last thing, is that we're more interested in listening uh, and want to be continually open to insight. So, Rather than trying to have everything all figured out, everything all wrapped up in a nice, neat bow, we're more interested in just being curious about life and being interested in what we're going to learn. So those are some of the things that have been really helpful to me that I, I go on and explain a little bit more clearly. Um, but I, I could sum up in these, these last few things. For the last 38 years since I met Sydney Banks and learned about the three principles, this is what my life has been. I get reactive to something. I feel emotionally imbalanced. I remember who's creating my experience. It's coming from the inside. And then my feelings and my perception magically shift with this awareness. And lastly, new and deeper insight appears about how life is actually created. So this is the process of this upward spiral of transformation that we're, on, we're all on and we're all on it together once we get, have that turning point of realization that we're open to that. And we'll never get to the end of that infinite level of consciousness. So welcome on the train and let's go on a ride.